Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR. How are you guys doing today? Well, we got the truck all loaded down. Yep. With the kiddos. Say hi, guys. Hi, hi. <laughs> we just left the gas station and got everything all gassed up and ready to go. Mm-hmm. Got me some nice cold brew coffee. Gary got a Gatorade. Yep. Kids got a donut. <laughs> yep. And we are off. Yeah, and we're off. So, first stop of the day, we're gonna have to go to the dump yeah. and do the darn thing. It kind of sucks, man. There is zero trash service available in our area. Yeah, we so, tried. Yeah, we tried. We tried. We tried. They just won't <laughs> come and service our area. So, we burn what we can and then. Uh, we haul what we can. Yeah, exactly. Recycle the rest, I guess. Yeah. But, so. yeah. Today's gonna be a really good day though. We're, I'm looking forward to today. Um, mm -hmm. I know Gary is exceptionally looking forward to today. Yes, I've been uh, waiting and waiting patiently. <laughs> and today's the day I'm getting my grill. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna get his grill today, which would be really nice because then uh, Gary can take over the dinner duties sometimes. Oh. Give me a little bit more free time. Mm -hmm. Summer is a very, very busy time of year for us. It always seems to be just an incredibly busy time of year yeah. for us. But I mean, we're always busy, so. It's always, yeah, it's always busy, but I'm looking forward to it because, you know, tis the season for the grilling season. Yeah. And it's uh, no time like now, you know, but to go and gr get one and start grilling. <laughs> and when Gary does the grilling, uh, we all enjoy, man. Um, I get more free time to do editing and get videos out for you guys because the dinner duty is taken off of my plate. We mm -hmm. get some really good food. Gary's actually really good on the grill. Like Gary can make a very delicious steak. He can make good burgers, like the chicken even. Like I like what I was actually thinking, <laughs> maybe we should pick up some of those leg quarters. We could. Yeah, because I like, so I really like chicken leg quarters and they're cheap, right? You get that big old bag at Walmart and it's a ton of meat and it's very inexpensive that's yeah. something that we used to eat a lot of yeah. and well, i haven't had any you haven't made me any no in a long time it's been a very long time and i could totally go for some leg quarters today well i'm sorry but you know that grill of mine right now i think sad it's a it's a scary thing cooking oh. with that grill because the, the it's, one you have right now, yeah. Yes, because yeah. each each propane like distributor distribution thing or whatever is so rusted out and crudded out that they are basically broken, and they are now just like going. <laughs> so there's no like in between. I can't say, hey, I want it low. It's, it's that really spot is like holy crap. It's Hot. on or it's not. <laughs> yeah. And then all the dripping like pan stuff, those things have been rusted out so bad now that they have actually cracked and broken and now they're like, it's just. It's time, honey. It's a nightmare that in that thing. for like a decade. Like yes. that's been the grill that we've had this entire time. So yeah. it's definitely, you need a new one, you know? Yes. Hey, sorry about all the bumping around too, guys. We are obviously driving and stuff and um, I'm having to hold the tripod and yeah, I'm, I'm not super stable. I'm trying, <laughs> but sorry about it. Anyway, I should have loaded. I should have loaded up that grill. So we could dump it? Yeah. Yeah, you should have. Should have, could have, would have. I didn't really think about it. Didn't think that one through. No, I didn't. Oh, well. It's not like we won't be going back to the dump again. Right. <laughs> it will happen again. It will happen again. No, well today, besides going shopping for Gary's Grill, um, yesterday, if you guys watched our Real Talk, I had mentioned that we are probably going to be doing some window shopping today, which I am looking forward to. We're going to go check around and, and look and see. I may or may not have jumped the gun, though. Gary was so, so sweet, and he didn't want to tell me to shut up, but pretty much it's what I needed to do. <laughs> he, I, I may or may not have been jumping the gun. I didn't really think about how big the grill was going to be and, you know, glass windows in the back. Now we could strap everything down. I just, if we get windows today, it's probably only going to be a few of them. So we'll see. We're going to play it by ear. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see what we can do. Yeah. We'll figure it out. It's not, it's not the end of the world. 
know, but I may or may not have put my foot in my mouth and gotten you guys excited for Windows when we might not be ready for Windows yet. Um, and you know, we do have a thousand other things that we have to get done as far as the bottom animal tier and I don't know. I, you guys know me at this point and uh, my brain sometimes jumps from here to there and Gary definitely is wonderful at keeping me grounded and he didn't want to, uh, I guess, embarrass me or, you know, and tell me shut Burst up. Burst your bubble. <laughs> Burst my bubble. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so I don't know. We might pick up some windows today, but we might we also might not. We're just kind of playing it by ear right now. If we do, I don't think we're gonna get like even yesterday, I didn't think we were gonna get them all like for the entire house, but I was thinking maybe we'd get like one of the walls. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna see how how it's all gonna fit Tetris wise in the back of the truck and also like and keep things protected. Yeah, protected is a big one. Cause I mean, if we buy it and then by the time that we get it home and it's shattered, well, that didn't do us any good, did it? Yep. So, yeah. And you can't return a window being broken because you couldn't haul it home safely. Like that's not, no. that's not, they won't, I don't think that they would accept that. And I'd feel bad about trying to too. That's like a I have a feeling that they time. would accept it, but at the same time, I don't know if they would accept it if it was negligence on your part, you know? Yeah. Because we're going to be strapping them down and securing them and keep them as safe as possible back there, but... I just know that the first time that we bought any windows and doors, well, the yeah. only time when we were buying them for the basement, man, we were holding our breath the whole time. We were so nervous because our road is so bumpy and Biggie is not a smooth ride, guys, as you guys no. can tell from the bopping around in this video. And that's my biggest worry is that. Yeah. You can secure things all you want, but once you go down a dirt road, everything's loose again. <laughs> I'm just saying, it, it's always one of those. <laughs> yeah, you get kind of nervous. Yeah. And Biggie's but, just not a smooth ride. It's just, it's not. It's, no. She's old, but guess what? She's reliable. She's a smooth ride if she's got, you know, a good load on her. Yeah, then she's then, like Then she's down. like perfect, you know, that easy cushioned uh, spring suspension. Yeah. But right now it's more of the oh yeah yeah that's stiff yeah well what is it a 90 it's um, a 98 but it's 98. also it's a heavy duty truck which it's meant for hauling and everything else so if you didn't have the stiffer suspension when you are hauling and you hit something like that that would destroy some things some steering components and other stuff so yeah it's a good thing that it's built that way but it makes it when it has no weight on it it's a little eh, <laughs> stiff <laughs> listen i love this truck this truck is wonderful she has been amazing for our family and um and uncle mike is still traveling with us in the glove box no. so it, that makes me really happy that you know we're able to you know keep it cruising right mm -hmm. but <laughs> as far as it definitely, you still got to pucker up when you have glass and things, you know, in the back of it. You're still like, e please. Yep. So. And not only that, the first time when we did get the windows, if you don't remember, the flanges were broken. Yes. And then yes. we went and grabbed two more and replaced them and whatnot. They, re they were like, oh, our bad. Yeah, go grab another one. I told them, I was like, I'm ripping those open before I bring them back home. Like, yeah. That's a far drive, so. Yeah. I don't know, maybe when we do go and get these windows, I might be breaking into the boxes just beforehand. I would I would definitely want you to because yeah, we did have that situation when we yeah. bought the windows for the basement. It, that was a thing, that was a thing. And we had to take those windows back and get new ones. And, and that sucked. That did suck, <laughs> that yeah. That sucked. But so. yeah, we'll be, we'll be good. I have a feeling that we'll be able to get everything that we need. I'm gonna look for those um, long sleeve SPF shirts today. My burn is a lot better today than it was yesterday. I am still feeling it for sure, uh, but it's not as it's not as intense as it was. But I definitely want to look and find those long sleeve shirts. Um, yes. I'm excited though to get moving and grooving on finishing up our animal tier system and stuff because right now guys my brain is so scatterbrained because there's so many things that we're trying to finish up and work on and stuff at one time. Yeah. Um, but that goes with the territory. It does totally <laughs> go with the territory and you know they don't call me squirrel for nothing right? But 
I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to stay focused and stuff. And Gary's great at keeping me grounded. I, I still go squirrel a lot of times too. But I, we ground each other out. But I, My biggest flaw is I overthink things. No. <laughs> I, a lot, so yeah. And sometimes, um, yeah, and sometimes when he's overthinking and I'm bouncing around, then it can just be a recipe for trouble. But we're not trying to cook up no trouble today. We're trying to just take it nice and mellow and easy get Gary his grill he'll have peace of mind on there I'll get some peace of mind too because then I'll have more free time like I was talking earlier to um, to do some editing etc because yeah. summertime with three kids man that's a, that's some rough business if you don't have children or if it's been a long time since you raised children try to reach back into your memory book and rem remind yourself of what it was like and if you don't have children reach out to one of your friends that do have kids because Lord knows we all need a little help <laughs> <laughs> it's a blessing and a, and a tremendous blessing like the absolute joy of my life right um, yes but but it is a challenge and you do end up juggling a lot of things and uh, yeah anyway yeah. anyway we're busy <laughs> we're always busy though I'm looking but... forward to today I'm looking forward to uh, to working on the tier systems the animals uh, tier systems playing lumberjack getting a moving groove on some things yeah. Yeah. We're going to be taking out some small cedars. Yep. Weeding them out here and there and uh, use those as poles and we'll be good. Yeah. Because we were trying to, um, I really like the natural look of it too. Like I love how Anthony and Roxanne did their chicken coop and uh, clucker dome area, yep. right? I love how they did it because it's very open. You could walk inside there. The animals have a lot of room, uh, but it looks very natural and like it belongs. Yeah. And I would love for our animal tier system to also look like it belongs. And I'm gonna follow their lead. So we definitely got to get out there and start cutting and chopping and doing things. Moving and grooving and getting her rolling. Yes, yes we do. And I have a feeling like once that all of these other, um, I guess smaller projects are off of our plate, I'm gonna feel like, uh, Woo, again, I'll be able yes. to stay focused a little bit more because we have like five projects we're working on at once. Well, that's so. That's where I'm trying to rein it in right now. Let's just deal with the animal tier. Yeah. Get that one situated completely. Then we can go up to your garden tier and situate that garden tier fully. Yeah. With once a nice garden, automated watering system and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Once that garden tier is situated, then we can go and start situating that the top tier yeah do they doing yeah, the, the kids is place area that, and yeah all the that kids fun is, stuff. oh my my wrist i'm sorry guys Woo. <laughs> there we go but no the kids is play set and um the grass and yeah. all the different things and flowers and stuff that i want up there yeah uh, and that deck the deck yeah it's happening one day at a time yeah. we still have a whole mud room that we have to build on top of the um in the front of the cabin Mm -hmm. you know and but that mud room and the decking mm -hmm. and the playhouse are all going to be getting going at the same time essentially because they're all going to be poles that we got to put in the ground or attached to the ground and we're just going to be going around putting poles in the ground everywhere and getting them going it's going to be a lot of drilling again exactly yeah and then once those are in then we can go back around and start building off the framing area and then start doing the decking yeah which it's all basically the same exact concept through and through yeah so, which is you're 100 percent right on that so we might as well get all that done square that away real quick hey you, you know what that, i'm actually very excited for the back decking for the back patio because then when it does rain and you know just different we won't be getting wet down there one um and two like just having that shade in the front would be is going to be very nice being able yes. to be hanging out outside and having a nice shady spot that'll be really It'll cool keep the basement a little cooler it will because the sun won't be so powerful mm -hmm. popping in there it'll be all it'll be all in all a really good idea yeah so. yeah i'm looking forward to it and i know the kids like the kids are 100% getting their playhouse this summer. We're not, we're, you know. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's gonna happen. 
We're, I'm going to have Julia get out there and help us a lot with it. She's definitely in that age where um, I want to teach her how to frame a wall. I want to teach her about weight distribution and, um, you know, how to do it right. So nothing's, you're not going to get hurt. Nothing's going to come crashing down on you. No. She's at that perfect age. And I think she'll appreciate it a little bit more, too, um, having put in some blood, sweat, and tears instead of having mom and dad just do it for her. So. Well, they're all going to be helping out with the everything because oh, yeah. like i said we're going to be having to put poles into the ground That's and these kids wild. are going to be helping like no tomorrow they got little hands yeah did, they can they can get down in the down in there and grabbing grab all that the dirt. dirt and get it out you're like all right abe be an excavator yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah it'll be good though it's going to be a very very good uh summer every day man every day it's yeah. beautiful another beautiful day <sighs> oh you guys want to hear something random that happened last night before we could jump off of this thing because we are my wrist is kind of hurting I'm getting ready to get off but <laughs> you want to hear something strange so um huh oh Abe wants to say you better be loud son what happened last night um, we saw a meteor we did we saw a meteor friends yep and um it was loud and it was on fire bright red and it was kind of slow going yeah. it wasn't a shooting it was kind of slow going it had a nice big fat trail on it and then this most nervous part for everybody was we saw it fall and hit like we didn't well not hit hit but we heard it hit yeah so oh, we heard it yeah we that's for sure we heard it hit it went boom I was looking all morning and uh, on online and stuff, trying to see if there's any reports of anything or, and there's no reports anywhere. So. Yeah, it was nuts. But it was nuts. We all witnessed it. We all saw it. It, it was a thing. Um, it was we, that double boom where it was like it was the boom and then the sonic boom. It yes. Was like, <laughs> it was like, what in the world? I tell you what, we were a little nervous though when we were seeing it fly. I mean, my I, my heart kind of sank when you saw uh, it fly by because it looked huge and it was on fire and it was in the air and it was just like, oh, oh Lord, what wow. is this? Where is this going? It almost looked like a rocket or like, you know, yeah. something bad. It was burning up in re-entry, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, that was crazy though. It was very crazy and I we heard and felt the boom. Now it flew by and it went over um it was actually going towards Come On Mountain. Mm -hmm. And I talked to good old Come On, he's fine, so it wasn't that. Um <laughs> I, I don't know. It, I mean who it knows? It went boom though. It went boom. It went boom. So I mean whew. and you know they I know that we have more things like that more often than we're even aware of. It's just that we're not always sitting outside looking up at the sky, right? Mm -hmm. And that's something that um, people for generation and generation, that's their, that's like the main pastime. Everybody used to navigate their ships and stuff by looking up at the stars and um, just, it's only up until like the last hundred years or so that people aren't really stargazing so much anymore which I love to do. I think it's a very fun pastime. I, whenever I do sit outside, I always see something crazy going on in the sky, whether it's a satellite or I see shooting stars pretty often as well. But I don't know. Uh, the night sky is pretty crazy. It's pretty beautiful. It's pretty beautiful. But I just thought I would share that little tidbit with you guys. Um, did you guys, are you in our area? Did you guys see it too? tell oh, that i mean that, that would nuts. be pretty cool if you guys did see it we were looking at the same uh meteor at the same time <laughs> we looked for newscastings on it and we haven't seen nothing yet so. not a word not a yeah. word makes me wonder though yeah i know there there's people's jobs that uh watch for that kind of stuff like how does that go down yeah i don't did know did they let the people know that where it was going to hit or have been like ah oh, it's going to hit nowhere land so you know nobody's in harm's way so I'm we're just, just gonna <laughs> ignore it ignore it and that's <laughs> it and i'm sure that that happens more often than not is that they happen and then they just get ignored because it's not a densely populated area it, hap it hits somebody's cow field or something and no cows were injured and you know 
I yeah. know. I'm, I'm sure that probably happens more often than we're even aware of because it doesn't make the news. Yeah. So it's pretty crazy. Yeah. And hoots, guys, we are going to be uh, vlogging today. I'm going to put together something for y'all uh, on Simple Life here really soon, so stay tuned for that. We are going to be getting busy, like we've been talking about, guys. We're day by day doing everything we can, making our list, checking it twice. We're going to be working on a few things. We'll be vlogging that as well, so stay tuned. But we're, uh, my wrist is hurting. I'm ready to get <laughs> off of this thing. But I love you guys, and I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today and for talking with us. Um, We'll be back with new episodes shortly. So until the next one, friends, we love y'all. We hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later.